Congressman Adam Smith of Washington. So you heard that report and you're well aware that Doug Jones has been certified today as the senator-elect from Alabama. He's going to be sworn in on January 3rd to the Senate. Does this win indicate to you uh, a chance or, or maybe just a hope that there's going to be a blue wave next year? Uh, clearly. I think that combined with the results we saw in the uh, Virginia and New Jersey off your election show that Democrats are motivated to get out and vote. And also, I think win winning an election like this adds to that motivation because it proves to people that they can be successful. And whatever one may, may think of President Trump, certainly after the election, there was a great deal of despair amongst Democrats and progressives. And that despair has not been mitigated by the president's actions since he was elected. But I think that despair very quickly turned into action. And what winning an election like the one that Doug Jones won in Alabama does is it just adds fuel. You know, it's like my son plays soccer, I'm sorry, but when you score a goal, it motivates you. You know you can win, and there, it, it tends to be a real momentum uh, factor. And I think that's the case here. In addition to the fact that President Trump is the most unpopular president uh, during the first year in office that we've had since we've been doing polls. He simply has not been able to get above 40 percent. A lot of it is his policies. A lot of it is the way he talks about people and the things that he does. But it gives us an opportunity. And what Democrats have to do is we have to present an agenda, particularly an economic agenda, that shows the American people that we have a better way. We're but not if, just going to uh, Let me ask you about that, ahead, because if, if the economy uh, continues to do better, and this tax plan, which obviously is very unpopular right now, but could gain in popularity and the president's numbers when it comes to the economy could be in a better place as we get closer to the midterm election. Couldn't that temper some of this enthusiasm for Democratic candidates that you've seen in these off year elections? Well, I don't think it would temper the enthusiasm amongst Democrats. It would, would make it a little bit more difficult, certainly. But look, in the first year, I mean, most econo economists will tell you that any economic impact has is, is come from prior policies. And the tax cut was just passed a week ago. Other than that, the president has implemented no major legislative policies in 2017. So whatever economic numbers that we see are reflective of policies that came before, that came under the Obama administration. And the one thing missing from all of this has been sort of the, the middle class and the working poor seeing a significant benefit in their wages. And a tax cut that goes primarily to corporations and the wealthy isn't going to change that. That's why this tax cut is the most unpopular tax cut that I can remember in history ever passed. The people look at it and say, this is going to people who don't need it. This is going to people who already have money and aren't spending it, aren't investing it. So I think this gives us an opportunity, in addition to the unpopularity and the success that we've had in the elections yeah. of 2017, you know, we have a tax cut, which is their sign not just their signature issue, their only issue, and it's very unpopular. All right, Congressman Adam Smith, thank you so much for joining us.